having a very bad day. I am in no mood. This, today, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. My brother, Bomani Jones, is in another booth looking at me. I love that brother. I don't want to talk to you today. I've got producers who have been very, very good to me. I've got bosses who have been very, very good to me. I've got co-workers that I love. I don't want to talk to anybody. My godson, Jonathan Barnes, is sitting right in front of me, and I don't want to look at him. I'm ticked off. I mean, this is just, and, 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 and Sean Farnham on Get Up This Morning with Mike Greenberg, him and his Benedict Arnold self, walking around, having shows on television in the morning, acting like this is, this is just a good day to just laugh. It's always a laugh with the New York Knicks for non-New York Knicks fans. I thought Mike Greenberg was a good man. I thought he was a person that didn't like to watch people suffer. And then that damn Pablo out there with Bomani, he's standing in the hallway laughing at me too. This is not funny. It's not funny. I mean, this is a terrible, terrible day. I don't know about the rest of you. I don't know about the rest of you. But if you are a Nick fan, this is the equivalent of being kidnapped, stored in a basement, being tortured, and then they let you out when you're of no use to anybody. I mean, you just can't make this up. I'm telling you right now, I got an attitude with everybody. Every damn body. Even that, that damn Spike Lee. I heard he's in the Philippines. He's lucky he's not New York City. If you are not a Knicks fan, you make me sick. I don't like any of you. Any of you. Because every today is a laughing day for all of you. I mean, damn it. It never, ever, ever goes our way. And that damn Golick and Wingo on the radio show this morning, I mean, Trey Wingo, it's that Golick calling me up. We just want to make sure you're okay. You don't care. You can pretend all you want. You didn't care about me. Adrian Wojnarowski, our ultimate insider. You see that look of glee on his face? I know he's objective. I know he's just giving you out the information. But did he have to have that smile on his face, Nuno, when he was giving us the news about the New York Knicks? And that damn Mark Tatum, the deputy commissioner of the NBA, him too. I got an attitude with him too. Why the hell does he have to hold those cards? I bet you if somebody else was holding, I bet you if Adam Silver was the one announcing the picks, the Knicks would have had the number one over pick. I'm blaming Tatum too. I mean, you just get the Knicks can't catch a break to save their damn lives. Can't catch a break. All you want, you, you gave us James Dolan all of these years. We can't win basketball games, we can't be relevant. Prior to this, last 20 years, it was the Patrick Ewan era, but Michael Jordan kept standing in his way, and Dave Checkets kept lying to us, making us believe we had a chance with Jordan when we knew good and damn well. We never had a chance. Before that, you got the Trent Tuckers and Rory Sparrows of the world. Before that, you had Bernard King, or even during that, New York Knicks haven't won a title since 1973. I was five years old. Five. I'm 51 years old. It is 46 years and counting that the New York Knicks haven't won a title. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Had they gotten Zion Williamson via the number one overall pick last night, it would have felt like a title. But we couldn't even get that. 
I blame the Knicks organization too. What the hell you bring Patrick Ewing up there for? He's not Dave the Butcher, God rest his soul. If you couldn't deliver us a championship against Jordan, why the hell should we believe you're going to deliver us ping pong balls?